Hello guys, so this is going to be an retrospective intro to this video. I am showing you guys some fashions, some fashion pieces, some clothing. When, when did we start saying pieces? Or when did people start saying pieces? I don't think I say pieces. But anyways, let me pull my ponytail over here. I'm doing it longer next time. I wanted to keep it a little, a little natural, a little, you know, this is my real hairish this time. But the next time I do this, it's going to be super long. It's going to be like wasteland. Anyways, but yeah, so I just finished trying on some clothing for you guys. You all said, you know, I hope you get back into it. I hope you, because I had mentioned that I really don't like try on hauls because I don't like putting on my clothes before I actually wear them. And the main thing is I don't want to mess them up. I don't want to, um, sh I don't know. I'm just, it was just weird. So I'm over that. I'm going to turn, okay, let me turn the ISO down so y'all can see. You know what? I can't. I don't know how okay here we go but yeah it's yellow with some beautiful little blue flowers on it super long it opens up in the front it has buttons um probably down to the knee but i opened up the dress just to make it a little bit more youthful a little bit more dainty um at first this was giving me very much little house on the prairie but i really think it's really cute I think it'll be perfect for like going to like a garden or like a, a um, farm or something. I think I mentioned that in the What's New Wednesday. But yeah. when I just fell in love with this color, y'all. The color. Think about the makeup look I could do with this. I could like really pull out these colors in a look. That would be so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this dress. It's something like I mentioned in the What's New Wednesday. It's something different from what I normally will choose to purchase. So let me go ahead and tie this uh, strap up. Also, when y'all see the footage or when y'all see the actual try on haul in a few minutes, I want you guys to tell me. Dang, I just lost my train of thought. <sighs> oh, yes. Tell me how I should tie this. Should I tie it in the middle? Should I tie it on the side? I don't know. Next up, we have our, this one might, I don't know. I was about to say it might be my favorite. Oh, I didn't mention where I would wear this. This is definitely like a date night, date night vibes with some flats, maybe a pony, but like higher, like one that sits like here, maybe, or like up here. But yes, this is definitely date night out on the town. On to this one. Now, this one is a bit shorter than the other ones, but it's still super long. It's like quarter length on the, on the leg. I really did not like that the buttons do not open up in the in the middle of the dress. So, um, but the fit is so cute. I've never bought a dress like this, but oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear it again. This is like an outside, maybe like a um, festival or like a um, just a day in the park or something. Just something super cute, airy, again flowy. But this one was a little bit more fitted in the upper body. And then I love the back detail where you can just tie it up. And it has like my bra strap. Sometimes there's always like a small little detail that is the reason why these dresses and stuff end up at Ross. There's something missing, something messed up. Next to last dress I try on is this one here. This is the butterfly dress I mentioned. Look at the beautiful butterflies. Like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. And... I love the fit, super tight. Dress super tight. Make sure you do not eat before buying. I will, I will make sure I don't eat before I wear this dress because girl, this thing is skin tight. Skin tight, sweetie. Let me show y'all the earrings I would wear with this. So I have these. Let me pull up the dress. So these are like rainbow, huh? Oh, these are rainbow. So I have these super cute butterfly earrings. But I also have, I think these might be a better fit for this outfit. Let's see. Y'all look at this. And you can open up the butterfly and make it like, look like it's like fluttering. <gasps> Oh my gosh, these might be perfect for this dress. I think these go better because they like have kind of like the same color scheme. 
Let me show y'all. Well, let me put it in the back of my hand. Ooh, they're so cute. They are so cute, y'all. Look at that. Look at the colors. Oh, I can't wait. I also have these butterfly earrings, too. Oh, upside down. I also have these, and they're like stone. Here we go. They're like stones, and I would probably put them here and here in my little second and third piercing hole. Now for the last and final outfit I tried on for you guys is this one here. It is a top that scrunches up in the middle. Yes, you can adjust the scrunch, but I'm not going to adjust the scrunch. I'm going to keep it a little bit low, you know. Don't want to expose too much because the skirt that matches this is quite short. It's not super short, but it's short enough. Um, but yeah, here's the skirt that matches. And again, it scrunches. You can make it shorter, so it'll look like this. Or you can do like one side. Can y'all see that? Now let me give you a close up. So as you can see, it has little daisies on it. Some little daisies. Look at these, so cute. But yeah, y'all, that is what I'll be trying on in this video. Now I'm about to take off my i did not wear makeup makeup but i did put on a little makeup for this video that is another reason why i do not like doing try on hauls because i would hate to get makeup on my new clothes but i said you know what i'm not gonna wear makeup but i'm gonna do a little a little something so what i did was i definitely filled in my eyebrows because they can be a little see-through a little transparent sometimes they are a little thin so i do well my hair in general is, is thinner than some people anyways i did put on eyeliner here I also put mascara only on the bottom lashes and I put on some blush. I put on this blush. It is a putty blush from e.l.f. and it was like three four dollars and basically you just take your hand and you just dab some on your so if you see like a little bit little bitty tint of pink this I got too much child anyways um, a little tint of pink on here that's what this is. I just took my hand in here. Boom, 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 boom. What else did I do? And then I did my lips. I did a red lip. It was kind of matte with a darker liner around the lippy. Now I'm going to wash this stuff off. So come with me. Do you get deja vu when she's with you? Okay. So I showed you guys these in a video, previous video, but these are the, I woke up like this. I woke up like this. Anyways, these are the, I woke up like this, coconut facial wipes. They're deep cleansing, makeup, dirt, and oil. So we're gonna take these. How many came in here? Wipe off our lip fee. We're gonna wipe off our eyebrows. Look, this eyebrow versus this eyebrow. It's not a major difference unless I just didn't wipe it all off. And then wipe off this eyebrow. And I'm also going to wipe off my eyeliner. Because I want today to be a no makeup day. Just let my skin breathe and enjoy itself. I am going to wash my face very quickly just to make sure it's clean and stuff. So what I'm going to use is this. So this is the Vintage Cosmetic Company's Face Cleansing Brush. It has smaller bristles on this side, and then if you flip it over, it has bigger bristles on this side. I'm gonna wet it, and then I am going to apply my Hydro Boost Exfoliating Cleanser, like so, sorry. Oh, my face look good. This is my first time using it, so bear with me. This feels so good on my face. Oh my gosh. It feels like 20 different fingers or 100 fingers just doing like this. Do you get deja vu? Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Suds. I just have black gel on my edges so they are not stuck 
they're not up or stuck they are just chilling make sure i get that makeup off my eyebrows off my eyes off my lips okay y'all like my robe i want to get more robes like this i'm going to get rid of like like three robes because they are just not the vibe i don't like a certain texture the texture of the robes that i'm talking about i like this I like the towel texture or the silk texture all right so our face is now clean and now i am going to go ahead and use my chanel cotton pad well first i'm going to let this dry a little bit let my face dry a little bit while i do that i'm going to show you all my little cotton pad the chanel cotton pad um that i bought recently and i am going to take my neutrogena alcohol free toner it says that it won't strip skin's natural moisture and you know toners are supposed to be alcohol free girl but i'll be having to use this to open this like i don't know why these bottles be so hard to open but y'all just take it and i just pour my toner on here like this girl goodness and then just go like that do you get these when she's with you and then let that dry i'm gonna put these in the trash i'm gonna take this saint ives lip scrub and juicy watermelon and i'm just gonna dig some out i hate it's so dry so that's why i just want to use it to get old get like so i can be done with it <laughs> anyways let's take some like so oh it looks like this and uh apply it to the lips yeah no i'm recording sorry love you i just wet my hands and now i'm gonna just do this it feels so good. Oh my god. It tastes good too. Just sugar, y'all. It's just a sugar scrub. Natural sugar. 100% natural sugar. And your mouth should look like this. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. Hydra Boost. So sorry. Neutrogena Hydra Boost. Like so. And just rub it in. Rub it in. Rub it in. Rub it in. This feels so, oh my gosh. Relaxing. Yes, Lord. Okay. Mm. Baby, that almost put me to sleep, child. Spa. Spa at the house. I also have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost City Shield Eye Serum. So I'm going to take a little bit on my finger like so. Like here. Okay. And then we're going to boom, 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 boom like that. And then boom, boom, boom. What is that on my eye? What is that? okay and then boom like that and then we're gonna rub her in like so and now i'm gonna take my winky lux eye roller eye cream applicator so this is what she looks like she came in this little cute little container so cute and then it looks like this y'all look at this it has like a little white ball in there oh this feels so good it's cold 
Oh my gosh. And then I guess you can use that too. What is all this crap? Oh, it does have, the City Shield does have little beads in the inside of it. So maybe that's what I have on my face. Oh my gosh, this feels so good, y'all. All right, without further ado, please enjoy the try on haul of some dresses and a skirt set that I recently perked. My nails have gotten so long, they've been scratching me, oh my gosh. That I recently purchased from the one and only Ross Dress for Less. When y'all get rich, are y'all still gonna um, are y'all still gonna shop at Ross when y'all get rich? I know I am. Oh my God, I can't stop. All right, y'all, ladies and gentlemen,
Thank you.